There's construction outside of our apartment and Keith is having a meeting right now. So I don't know if you're gonna pick up any background noise, but I've been just having a self-care morning um, with the intention of it being like a self-care day and uh, just been feeling really at peace and <laughs> therefore feel like I can express myself and not feel so consumed in my thoughts because I think that's kind of where I stop recording is when I get like a little anxious or uh, just not comfortable in my skin so I was I've been doing things today that make me feel comfortable in my skin I have self-care uh, list that I go through throughout my day to ensure that I um, it's my habit tracker from my bullet journaling days. I know I had a bullet journal video way back in the day. But yeah, I've kept up with the habit tracker, which I've renamed to the rituals, um, and then I don't even name it anymore. <laughs> but basically, I prioritize meditation, tapping, um, yoga, and this morning I also did a lot of like just body self-care with my exfoliating and face masks. I did the um, face mask that I did the video for, um, at Art Naturals uh, black peel-off mask and I love that. I've <laughs> kind of forgot about it. Um, a lot of, it takes me so long to get through beauty products. Um, so that was nice, and then I also, before did, before I did the face mask, I did the herbivore, uh, body scrub, uh, Coco Rose. So that was my first time trying, um, that body scrub, and I really liked it. It was, I wasn't sure if it was just for your body or if I could use it on my face. Um, and so I decided because the the grains look so small I figured it was face friendly too so I just went for it <laughs> and then I researched afterwards and it is whole body friendly so um, yeah so I've just been having a relaxing morning just going at my own pace and then I also have recently done some breath work, some Wim Hof breath work, which I've just recently uh, have found. And um, yeah, it's definitely something that I literally have found in like the last two weeks. So I want to explore it a little more because I found out that he's very popular in the world because his modalities are very healing. So. Yeah, his, um, one of his breathwork practices was in Insight Timer's, uh, like, 30-day mindful morning meditation challenge. So I started that, and I'm on day 15. Oh, I'm halfway. So, yeah, I've just been consistent with, uh, meditating right when I wake up. Because, um, meditation at any point in the day is gonna benefit us, but... 
are um, we are different when we are falling asleep and when we are waking up we are in a different state so a more receptive state so I just learned that and kept it in the back of my head and now I've been prioritizing it because <laughs> because I've been waking up anxious too much lately and I'm getting tired of it I'm getting tired of wasting my energy on anxieties that I know I can let go with a couple of things <laughs> so well all right well that is already quite a few minutes into um into this but I just wanted to kind of uh say that it is a self-care day and um, I'm going to kind of talk to you more about my self-care list in a little bit um, and then I think I can make more in-depth videos for each of those so I'm just gonna go back to chilling and I'll loop you in. So I'm back from an errand. I went to the UPS store to return a humidifier that Keith and I purchased online it didn't it worked one time and then stopped working so it was a very pleasant experience at that UPS <laughs> I was able to just come in and return it and then leave but came back on because I wanted to just talk about another reason why I have been feeling a little bit more calm and at peace today um, so I got some, uh, I got some sleep gummies, um, can you see? I will do a b-roll so you can see it closer up, but, um, it is a 25 milligram gummy of CBD and a 3 milligram, um, of melatonin, and I tried that for the first time last night open it up so I can show you what they look like um, and I'm trying to do it with one hand <laughs> and it was I was just uh, creating an Instagram post about it because I was like okay how did I feel about this <laughs> what were my thoughts and I liked it a lot this is what they look like um, I will um, try them I think on the nights where because I mean it's kind of a nice treat so I'm gonna try it for the nights where I am just laying in bed for an hour or two just waiting to fall asleep <laughs> because that's what's been kind of happening uh, lately um, Keith and I were kind of talking about um, I don't know we listen to guided meditations to fall asleep or we used to and I realized that Keith didn't really like the uh, the guided he likes like more like tranquil music and sometimes I need the guided so that I can turn my thoughts off and just listen to the person talk um, but I don't mind the tranquil music too so sometimes I yeah uh, he falls asleep and then I'm still laying there awake so I tried these for the first time, um, it wasn't necessarily one of those situations, but I was excited to try it, and another thing that I've been doing to try and fall asleep more easily is to read before bed, and so I was reading and realized that I didn't even need to keep on reading, that I could fall asleep, I like, just felt more relaxed in bed, and my thoughts weren't as, like, I mean, I was reading, that's why I've been reading, is so that I'm not thinking about all of the things in my to-do list and everything. Um, but yeah, I wasn't even needing the reading. I was like, I think I can just fall asleep right now. So that was nice. And then I also got their tincture. It is their 6,000 milligram um, mint chocolate tincture and I tried that for the first time this morning I had it at the end of my coffee and right before I started walking timber I'm a puppy I'll show you him right now <laughs> and I don't know the walk was just lovely I was listening to an audiobook so that was nice too 
Um, Layla Delia is another person that I've really dived into her healing work. So I've been listening to her audiobook because it came for free with my digital book, which was really nice. So I read it last year and I am listening to the audiobook again because it is very, um, it's been a very impactful book on me. So yeah, um, I have been taking a tincture from another company um, and another dose and it's their highest amount of milligrams that they can, um, that they have in their line and it is really exciting to have milligrams that are <laughs> at this um, amount. I am a six foot person so I feel like um, just sometimes I need more milligrams because I am a larger person and then yeah just I guess having a higher tolerance I guess so I felt the effects of this and it was lovely and I feel like I've continued to feel the effects of it so I just wanted to share those with you my experience and I will continue to I think I'll just save this for um, well, I don't know I'll, I'll figure it out but I've enjoyed it greatly